This is going to be a tour of an art gallery we set up here in the Corporate Research Center at Virginia Tech in one of our information technology buildings serving the university. One of our co-workers hit on the idea of displaying art created by our, our colleagues and their family members, and we've really been enjoying this. Uh, this first piece is created by uh, Carlene Joyce, who is the mother of my colleague Dan Joyce. It's called the, Way, the, the Hay Wayne. It's a copy of John Constable's The Hay Wayne. Uh, he's one of the artist's first attempts when taking classes to learn the techniques of the European old masters. The next piece is a beautiful piece entitled Sunset. That was done by Danny Joyce, who's the daughter of my colleague Dan Joyce. Uh, on the way home from New River Community College, a sunset left this image of a colorful sunset giving way to nightfall. The next piece is titled Country Church. Uh, it was done by Diane Woodlock, who is one of our colleagues here in the building, long-standing. It's hand-stitched from P. Buckley Moss cross-stitch cross leaflet using blended threads. Very nice. Here's a beautiful piece entitled Pembroke. It's done by artist Fern Joyce, the spouse of Dan Joyce. It's oil on canvas. Pembroke was the result of a challenge by an accomplished artist friend to paint the music. The vibrant colors remind us of the hillside of trees and their fall glory. Very nice. This piece, titled Bearded Eyed Iris, was done by Dan Joyce himself. It's traditional stained glass technique using soldered lead caning. The next piece was entitled The Mill. This was done by Isola Cox Wells Moy, Diane Whitlock's mother. It's painted circular saw blade with clock movement. When she turned 60, the artist decided to learn how to draw and paint. Very nice. This piece, titled Appalachia, is canvas work pattern by Needle Delights Originals in their Destination Series. It was done by Tykara Peak of Video Broadcast Services. And I'm sorry, I hope I pronounced your name correctly. The next piece is a quilt done by Myrtle Yop, uh, a receptionist here. Uh, it's titled Starry Starry Night Gives Way to Brilliant Daylight. This hand quilted piece was created for the 2010 Meadowbrook Quilters Challenge. The next piece, titled Inseparable, is a found object box done by Diana Doherty, who's the spouse of William Doherty, who is the senior manager of the, most of the folks here in this building. Very neat. I don't know if you, we can see the detail of this, but it's a very interesting piece. Nicely done. The next piece, <clears throat> is entitled Earth Dancer. Uh, it's a cross-stitch picture of a young native woman dancing with a dream catcher in the background. Bead and suede were also used in the design, and this was also done by Diane Whitlock. Down the hall. This piece was created by my good friend Hunter Hancock, titled In the Now. Another piece by Hunter Hancock. I'll Fly Away Someday, Abstract Acrylic Painting. This piece, also by Hunter Hancock, is titled Green Flame. Very neat. This one, the title is Cool, was done by Alyssa Collins, who's the daughter of Jamie Boggs and granddaughter of Diane Boggs. It's a magazine cutout, pencil grid drawing. Very neat. This piece, the title is Flowers, is done by Emily Kidd, the daughter of Jeff Kidd, who manages our public relations division. Very cool. Moving down the hall, the next piece is one of my favorites. Uh, this piece is called Winter Deer. It's an oil painting on artboard. It was done by artist Odessa Crowder, who's the mother of Jeff Crowder, and that happens to be me. Uh, the inspiration for this painting was a painting Early Snow by Edward Beerley, which was featured on the cover of Virginia Wildlife magazine many years ago. 
This piece is called Preparing for Winter, Oil, Paint on Wood, done by Diane Whitlock, again. Very cool. Here's a large painting done by my good friend Jenny Pollard, who's the wife of John Pollard, who works here in the building. Uh, the title of this is Trail. Jenny's an art teacher and a professional artist, so this is a very nice piece. And finally, another piece by my mother, Odessa Crowder. This is one near and dear to the hearts of many of my family. This is called The Barb Place. It, the Barb Place cabin in Hardy County, West Virginia, is where I grew up hunting with my father, my grandfather, and my brother, uh, and it's a, a place that it means a lot to our family. It was actually based on a photograph that I took, which was a terrible picture of my brother. It turned out to be a pretty good picture of the, the place that my mother painted years ago.